This machine uses limestone to pull carbon out of the atmosphere and then stores it in concrete. The project in Texas, the work of Heirloom Carbon Technologies, is one of the direct air capture efforts included in a $1 billion federal grant from the U.S. Department of Energy. Negotiations are required before funds are dispersed, but it still marks the first major investment into DAC technology by federal authorities, a component included in the bipartisan infrastructure bill that passed through Congress. Heirloom CEO Shashank Samla told Reuters his company has come a long way, and federal support can help it go further. Two years ago, we were at a petri dish where we were removing grams of CO2 from the air. In two years, we went from grams to kilograms to hundreds of kilograms to tons to, you know, soon hundreds of tons to thousands of tons. At the end of the day, you know, we are doing this because we need gigaton scale removal in addition to decarbonization. The DOE also aims to bring the cost of carbon capture tech down to less than $100 per net metric ton of CO2 equivalent within this decade. Heirloom's tech, according to its CEO, can help towards that goal. We use limestone, which is incredibly abundant and cheap. Uh, it costs 30 to 40 bucks a ton and as the sorbent, as the sponge for the CO2 from the atmosphere. And we use that sorbent because we want to make this process incredibly simple and cheap. And, and low cost. And we, we think that gigaton scale removal is not possible without reaching that 100 bucks a ton number. Um, so that's our goal. And uh, you know, we're going to do everything to get, to get there as soon as possible. Carbon removal technology is still in its infancy, but it's expected to be a focus in the upcoming COP28 climate summit in the United Arab Emirates. Worsening climate change and inadequate efforts to cut emissions have thrust carbon removal into the spotlight. UN scientists say billions of tons of carbon must be sucked out of the atmosphere annually to keep in line with the global goal to cap global warming at 1.5 degrees Celsius. While environmental activists acknowledge carbon removal plays a key role in meeting climate targets, they worry it could provide cover to fossil fuel companies to maintain production, especially in minority and low-income areas.